Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another game make tutorial by uh, Rex Furry. Um, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make room switching. So, like in a Zelda game, when you go to the end of a room, um, you will go to the next room exactly where you uh, where you came out. You know. And uh, so, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that today. Uh, sorry, I haven't done a lot of tutorials for a long time. I've been really busy. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember any uh, any requests for a video or just any comments or anything? Any questions? Leave it in the description box. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna want to do is obviously make our sprites, which obviously, uh, as you can see, <laughs> I have everything pre-made for the sake of time because I've had to really had to cut down on my uh, video times lately because I've kind of gone over 10 minutes. So um, anyway, in this video I don't really want to do that, so I kind of uh, have everything pre-made already. But don't worry, I'll walk you through like what I did. So uh, yeah, so we need to have a sprite player, and this is just my player. Okay, a sprite for the exit block. Okay, this is what's going to be so when your player collides with it, he goes to the next room. Okay, so anyway, uh, and a wall. Okay, so there's my wall. And, well, I guess I didn't show you my exit block, but anyway, there it is. So, now let's go to the object. So, we want to make an object for our player, for our exit block, and for our wall. Okay, so let's start the player first. And if you're making a platform game, you don't really need, uh, me, need to do any of these uh, events right here. The only thing you really need to do is check persistent. So, down here, persistent. Okay, and by the way, before you start any of this, we need to get to advanced mode. So file, and then go to advanced mode. But I already have it checked, because you see this little black check mark up there. If it's not checked, then it won't have that check mark. So I already have it on, so yeah. Oh, and this does work for GameMaker Lite, because I don't think you can see it, because the interstate hypercam thing is up there. But um, I am working with Lite anyway currently, so um, yeah. So And it does work with Pro, so just tell you. Okay. So anyway, I just put this event, so like using the W, A, and S, D keys to make your guy move. I will have this code in the description box, but it is not necessary, okay? And the collision with the wall, same thing. Uh, this is just HP equals zero, P speed equals zero. Just, this is just to make it stop. However you do your stopping for the walls, uh, you can just do that. So anyway, only necessary thing in here is that it's checked persistent, okay? All right, now on to the um, exit block. Okay, sorry, I was just kind of checking something back there. Okay, so anyway, um, what we need to do for this is we don't need it visible if we want it to like um, not be shown in the game. Um, you can uncheck visible, but I'm just gonna check visible for um, so this is for so like you could see it and stuff. So anyway, um, in the events we need to do collision with the player. Uh, room go to room well R M in parentheses other um uh dot x equals x and other dot y equals y okay and yes i will have all these codes in the description box but i think i just said that so anyway um oh and then collision with the wall you do need to have this code h speed equals zero and v speed equals zero okay and out of the wall um normally in a um platformer you would want to have the wall solid but uh, since it's kind of an RPG kind of thing, and I already have the code for like RPG kind of kind of wall collision, you don't really need to have it solid. But if you are making a platformer, you probably would want to have it solid. That'd probably be a good idea. That's how I do it. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, uh, now to the rooms. So if you're using this uh, method to switch rooms, like uh, between rooms, you need. This is necessary to do. You have to do it. You need to label for like anything all of your rooms starting with an R M and underscore and then write the name of your room after the underscore you need to have that okay or else this will not work so if you like if this doesn't work at the end of this video um, there are two things that might be the problem are you didn't label it room underscore and then the name of your room or you didn't check persistent okay so anyway just before you place a comment or something just check that if it's a question so yeah, all right. So now on to the uh, kind of room code for these objects. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what you need to do for this is you need to put a code while the object is in the room. So I guess kind of like an M game code or whatever. Um, so how to do that is press Control, hold down Control while pressing right, well like right clicking on your keyboard. 
or well I mean on your mouse on the object that you want to do it on so we want to go to our exit object so just hold down control right click and you get this little drop down list go to creation code and um, we need to put these codes for like switching the room so this is the code for switch going to like the room up so like if our player collides with these uh, exit blocks he will go up and there's uh, four different codes left right up and down and so anyway this is the code for up and I will have it in the description box so I'm just kinda briefly gonna go all over all of these okay so room equals room whatever um, room you want him to go like upwards and X equals X Y equals room underscore height negative 65 or I guess minus 65 okay so that's the code for up uh, the code for left is oh and by the way um, you will need to do the creation code for like all of these you can't just do it like on one and have expect them like to go all in all of these, okay? So you need to kind of manually do it on all of them, okay? The code for left is room equals room underscore bottom uh, underscore left, e uh, x equals room underscore width negative sixty five, y equals y, okay? And right, uh, excuse me, is um, room equals room underscore bottom right or you know any. Uh, whatever the right room that you have is x equals 33 and y equals y alright and let's go to the down code alright so I just have it in a different room okay so anyway uh, creation code room equals whatever room you want to go back down in um, x equals x uh, y equals 33 okay and that is all you need to do for <coughs> excuse me all you need to do for uh, room switching okay so now I'm gonna play it out and test it so yeah I'm gonna kinda s just skip to uh, skip to me testing it though because it's gonna be kinda laggy when I play the game so yeah I will see you in just a second alright guys how's it going um, uh, I am back so anyway here's our room and stuff so oh just a second okay so it is a little bit cut off I know because of the um, the uh, recording space I'm in but uh, anyway uh, if you did all the codes for like the step event and everything like the RPG codes for the player WSD on your keyboard uh, the letters WSD is what you used to move so anyway as you can see uh, I just went into the left room here and he went left and I'm going back and I come back to the same room okay and it by the way uh, if you have like life or something for the platform, like a platform game or whatever, and you do this. The reason why we check persistent is so like all this stuff like stays the same and stuff that happens to him. So yeah. Anyway, we went to the right uh, room and he like went to the right room. Okay, we'll go back and we will go up. Here we go and we go up and we go down and we go down. Okay, so there we go. Um, hopefully this works for you and um, feel free to uh, subscribe, rate this video. Um, comment question um, even request another video I will probably do it um, so yeah I hope this tutorial works and uh, have a great day and yeah expect more in, in the future so yeah see you later